All right, folks, happy Monday. It is the start of a new week. Got a lot of things on the go right now, and one thing I need to do, kind of tidy up my work area. I usually end the week, you know, finishing whatever projects, and very often I end up with a big old mess. So we're gonna get this thing tidied up. One thing I would like to get done this week is to do some major cleaning up top there. I'm realizing that there's a lot of things that we moved here that I don't need. And it's not all mine either. My boys used to be really big into RC airplanes. They even made some pretty big RC airplanes. This is all like foam core stuff they built. Here's an actual one they bought. A whole bunch of more airplanes they built. And since we moved here, they haven't even touched them. Also, I need to organize camping gear, fishing gear. It's not organized. Look at this whole thing. This is terrible. This is me standing up. It's kind of low ceilings up here. So this actually isn't really like a good usable workspace, but that doesn't mean I want it to be just some junk pile, throw everything, bunch of... I don't even know where the stuff is up here. So this is kind of useless. One thing I find though with projects like this, they can often be overwhelming. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give myself a half hour a day and I'm actually going to turn my watch on and run, like move fast while I'm doing this. First of all, get done quicker. Second of all, I can actually get my heart rate up. I'm going to count that, <laughs> I'm gonna count that as exercise because why not? And then once we've got that done, I still have a bunch of tools in here that I need to go through and organize. There's a bunch of stuff under all of these tools that I don't use all the time. I feel like I'm in this, this limbo. I'm not really organized. I'm not disorganized. And I think now we're at the point where we can start putting little finishing touches on just to really make this space much, much more efficient. One thing I've never shown on this channel before, this is a project bike I'm working on, the old XJ650. I'm debating about this gas tank. Cut the frame off of this and I was gonna do like this setup, but I'm actually thinking about going a little bit crazier, possibly cutting this whole thing off right here and going with a monoshock. Now this is a shaft drive motorcycle, so I would actually have to weld up my own thing coming over the back here probably run the shock up to here i was going to put the battery here but i'm actually probably going to swap out to a smaller battery maybe put in the m unit for the controls on this thing but pretty excited to have this thing actually up on a proper work stand where you know if i got an hour here or there i can just putz around on it tinker around on it part of this process though is going to be taking some of the stuff from here putting up top in the barn and to do that i need my forklift and i only have one bottle of propane for my forklift and it's always a little nerve-wracking when it starts getting empty because the worst thing ever is if you've got your forks way up high and you're about to drop something off and you run out of propane and then it's stuck there so i've had to leave loads like suspended like 10 feet up well i could lower them but actually i couldn't because it's just a pain in the butt to make a little bit of a pit stop. The goal for this year is to make at least 100 YouTube videos. What I've been looking for for a long time is like the perfect vlogging camera. Right now I'm filming on the Sony ZV-1 and I'm not entirely pleased with it, especially when I put on the stabilization because without the active steady shot on, it's pretty wobbly and it, it annoys me in editing so I'm sure it's not fun to watch. So I'm hoping this, this is a fairly nice wide lens. It's got the, the wide adapter. And uh, I'm hoping this could be my quick little pocket camera just for daily vlogs and stuff like that. We'll see. Thank you very much. Have a good day. All right. Feel a lot better about having a brand new propane tank at the ready. You can see this one's almost between half and empty. And so around that time, it's always kind of like, yeesh. Want to get caught without propane. Feels good. One thing done. Let's check this thing out. Got the main unit itself. This is slick as a whistle. Oh my goodness. All these things. This is something I'm interested in. This here is a wide angle lens just snaps right on like this. Cool. So this thing is like staring right at my face. If I move over here, it moves over. If I move this way, 
seems kind of creepy. It's just following me around. One thing that's kind of interesting is I got the creator kit. And so that comes with this little lavalier mic. Hopefully the audio should be pretty good. And it's a super windy day today. So I thought this would be a great time to test this out. All right, we are fully in the wind now. And I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear it or not. This is a good test for this microphone. Obviously it's kind of weird having this thing sitting on here, but it might be handy. But if this audio is half decent in this wind, then I'm gonna be super impressed. And you know, for different outdoor videos and stuff like that, this could be a, a really handy feature. I'm just curious, switching into the dark barn. Subject lost, yes, I see that. Recenter, okay, face track on. So the tracking isn't flawless on this thing, but I just kind of want to see what this video quality is like. And I'm on uh, 1080. Again, the nice thing is I can just kind of set this down and it should for the most part follow me. Obviously, if I get farther away, it's gonna have a harder time, but I could come here and say, talk about this snowmobile. And in theory, uh, the face track should keep on me, which is kind of handy. I love the weight of this super lightweight camera and man i tell you just just for being able to run and gun and, and take video like this if this audio is good that's gonna be pretty amazing you know subject lost all right there you go you got the subject now okay see this thing's moving around a little bit and essentially it's going to take a time lapse starting at one point moving around in the past i've tried these little gopro this like a little wind-up timer it's the cheapest way you could get that result 360 degrees in one hour you can hear it ticking away but to tell you the truth these things don't work all that great and i find i actually had a lot of wobble in the footage so i think that thing's gonna be fun the other nice thing about that one is you can set a custom point like up here to finish down there kind of you know you can control it side to side up to down and it's gonna be really fun to have that just meandering in the background so let's take a look at what that looks like Well, that's not so bad. I actually think that looks kind of cool. Um, the one thing is when I first shot it, it was like way oversaturated. It was like just too punchy. So uh, in post, I just dialed it down a bit and it looks much better. I think that's gonna be a really handy feature, especially like uh, for different build projects, just to have a second camera going. You know, if I'm gonna be working one space for a while, even a little distance, like from here to here, just a little bit of travel. So the whole thing's still in frame. I just think it's gonna be a fun little B-roll kind of addition type of a deal. So stoked about that. The time I enjoyed YouTube the most was when I was doing videos every single day and you know, a lot of people say vlogging is dead, and it may very well be, but not posting videos is also a form of death on YouTube. So one thing I know for sure is if I've got something where I'm like every day, I'm saying, okay, this is what I'm doing. This is like work, this is my job. And I push for it, I'm way more likely to do it than if I just kind of sit on my laurels and be like, ah, whatever, maybe we'll do a video, maybe we won't, because most often I just don't, so. Expect more content, a lot more content coming up.